All right guys, what's going on? Welcome to a new Android tutorial. And this video, we're going to start using the Volley library. And we're gonna make a new project for an example using Volley. And we're gonna have Action Bar Sherlock and the Volley library in it. Now, what is Volley? Well, Volley is a networking library that Google released for Android. And what Volley actually is, is a it's a networking library so the reason it exists is because on android i think it's an android 2.2 you're supposed to use and l l older you're supposed to use a uh, http client then an android 2.3 and higher you're supposed to use like http url connection and then there's try catch problems does if you want to get json there's json try catches and you end up having this big pile of catch blocks wrapped up in methods and it ends up being a big spaghetti so what we uh, Google did was they released the act the volley library. Now volley makes it stupidly simple to get an Android to make a request, get the data back, process it. It also removes the need for async tasks to be littered throughout your project. It does everything in a separate thread and wraps everything up beautifully. So how we're going to do this is well the first thing we need to go do is we need to go to the. Uh, uh, up here in our browser go to android google source co google source.com slash platform slash framework slash volley and just copy the uh, address so this is a git project so we're going to download the project from the git so we go file import project from git uri paste it and i'll get rid of the git clone at the start okay next get rid of the branches and just keep the master finish okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that we're going to cancel that out once you've that downloaded and import that's all you need to do there so we go back to file import existing android code into workplace and uh, you need to go to wherever that git installed and it told you most likely it's under users your username git hmm that didn't work Hang on a second. Import project from Git. URI. God damn it. I'm making a mess of everything. Buttons, how do they work? Okay, let's try to get rid of that there. It should say up res uh, re repository path. Next. Yep. Next. Next. There we go. Okay. Next. Okay, now when it gets to here, don't actually import these projects, okay? So we're just gonna finish. Just deselect those and do do do. File import existing Android code. Browse computer, C, users, me, git, there it is there, volley is now here. Volley, uh, just import, don't import test, just import volley, copy the projects to the workspace, and we have our volley library. So, go into our properties, Android, mark as a library, apply, okay. So now we have a library, ready to go. So, let's create our actual project. So file, new Android application. We're gonna call this volley, JSON example. Okay, I'll actually make that all capitals. Uh, 2.3 as usual, next, 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 next. Usual reams of stuff. Okay, so now we have a volley JSON example. I've actually managed to spell it wrong. So, next thing we need to do is properties, add our library, so we're going to add volley, we're going to add action bar Sherlock, we're going to apply, that's that done, we're going to go to our libs, we're going to delete the Android support v4, because it's already in action bar Sherlock, and we have our ready to project ready to go. We're just going to do a little bit of uh, action bar Sherlock tidying up, so we're just going to change this to theme dot sherlock dot 
light dot dark action bar. Okay. And then we're going to delete the V11 and V14 folders because we don't need them anymore. And we're ready to go. So we have our volley project ready. And we're ready to start making our volley requests. So, where, how do we start making our volley requests? Well, what we want to do is we want to create, we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna cr quickly create a list view, an array, and we're just gonna go through it. Um, we're gonna create a list view, a temporary array, and have it appear in a layout. So, go to our layout, activity main, and we'll delete this nonsense. And we can put in our layouts, our linear, no, not, no, where's list view? There we go, list view. Okay. Align parent top, align parent left, align parent right, align parent bottom. Okay, so now I've got our list view in. And that's more or less that ready to go. So edit the ID of the list view waiting for it to get going and uh, we're going to call this video list we're going to do the exact same thing we did before download a list of videos from YouTube but this time we're going to do it using the volley library and you'll see how much easier this is so we're going to need to create an array adapter and a list view so we're going to create a list view object list Oops, got a video list I'm just going to say import list view list equals list view and find view by id or dot id dot uh, video list. One thing I actually forgot to do was change this to Sherlock fragment activity. And this needs to be get support menu menu inflator. We need to import that, get rid of the activity import, get rid of the menu import, and just import the right one from Action by Sherlock, and away we go. Right, we're ready to go. So we've got a uh, video list created. So we need to create our adapter. So we're going to create a uh, private class. Actually, we'll say public just to make things simple. And video adapter. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just use a standard array adapter. So we're just going to create a string. Actually, we'll create an array list. Array list video array equals new array list. And it's a type string. that over there import array list okay and what we'll do is we'll just quickly say dot add so what I'm doing now is I'm just copying and pasting I'm just creating an array list adding some stuff to it and just doing some uh, boilerplate first Because when we uh, test this, before we start getting into the volley library, I'm just going to create this stuff here, this list, all this list stuff. And then we're just going to add some things to our video array. And then we're going to say array adapter. Uh, equals new array adapter. Port. Yep. Okay. Hmm. 
very strange. Okay, so the context is uh, this. The ints, I believe, I cannot remember which way around it is, but I know one of them is our list view. And one of them is another thing. So. Hang on a second. Okay, just had a quick look at the Android documentation. Uh, we need our Android text view resource ID, which is Android dot or dot layout dot uh, simply list item simple list item one I believe we need to get rid of this one and our list is of course our array, video array there we go I uh, should be parameterized. Whoops, I didn't put a string in. So it's an array adapter for string. There we go. Oh, crap. Is ambiguous. What the hell is that yelling at me for? It's not ambiguous at all. There we go. Now it's working. So we just set our list. Uh, view dot set. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Video list. Set adapter video adapter. That's all we need to do. We're just creating a generic list view with three objects in it just to see how things work. Okay, so we'll just see if this will work. Okay, so if we just run the project, it's an Android application, it should compile it and it'll automatically run whoops on our device. That's just double checking that Android or dot layout dot simple list item one is the correct one to use. So I'll just give it some time to upload. It is uploading onto the emulator. Come on. Okay, right, installing. Wait. Okay. And there's our list view, as you can see. Absolutely perfect. Our list view is showing up in our action bars there and everything. And don't forget, this is an Android 2.2 or 2.3 emulator. So everything's working as we would expect. So that's it for this video. What we're going to do in the next video is we're actually going to get the uh, JSON through Volley. We're going to only need one video to do this. It'll be very quick, very simple.